Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This is tutorial 4. The practice of 2D basic drawing. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw this object. I already inserted this object into AutoCAD workspace. Now, we have to draw or we have to convert this image to AutoCAD drawing. Before that, we have to understood what are the tools we have to use in this drawing. First, drawing tool. Next, modify tool. Next, annotation tool. First, drawing tool. In this image, we have to use line, arc, circle. Those are drawing tools. Next one, modify tools. Mostly we use move tool, rotate tool, trim and extend, erase, copy, mirror, and filler. Or even polar array. Next tool is annotations. In this video, we have to use linear, diameter, radius. Those tools is enough to complete this drawing. First, we have to draw a reference line here, middle of this one. Next one, this line. And we have so many reference lines. So, I am going to explain the difference line and the spacing. In draw tools panel, click on line and draw a vertical line. Next, I am going to draw a horizontal line here and center right. Now, I have a spacing here 65. So, click on offset and enter the value 65. Pick this line and draw it. Here, yeah, this is the 65 distance. Next one, I am going to insert the 26 distance. Click on offset and enter the 26 distance. Next, here, yeah, 24. Click on offset and enter 24. I have drawn all vertical lines in related to this vertical line now i am going to offset this vertical line so click on offset and enter the value as 47 and this side and this side are 47 then here 65 this line is little bit dark and center it. Next one. Here this this spacing is 26. And this line also I want to extend. Next one is 24 line. This line is enough. And also here this line also enough. Now I am going to change this line type and line color and line thickness. Select all this line and going to click this color. And change it as 0, 0. And click on center. Go to properties. Enter the value as 0 0.3. Enter. Go. Now I have center line here this is my background like a background click on this and change the color as this is my background and here also this line only for reference so you can change it as smaller first I am going to draw the circles here diameter 20 so click on circle center radius click this point and enter the value as 10 enter next circle is diameter 32 click on this one and click center diameter click center point and enter the value 32 enter next one in this point i have 
diameter 40 cm. Click on total bar, enter diameter. Click on this point, enter the value diameter 40. Next one is this line. Click on circle, send the radius. Click on this and enter the value as 7, enter. Then 10. Click on circle, send the radius. Click on send a point and enter the radius 10. End. Now I have this object same as here. If I can mirror it, uh, click on this mirror icon, click this object, enter. Click this mirror point and enter. Now I have mirrored this object. So I can save the time. Next one, here. Here I have diameter 10 and diameter 20 circles. Click on this circle and go to center diameter. Click on this point and enter the value as 20. Enter. Click on circle, go to center diameter. Click on this center and enter the value 10. Enter. Now I have two circles, diameter 10 and diameter 20. Here in this circle, I have to complete this object. So I have to draw R6 circle. Click on circle and center radius. Click this point, enter the radius as 6, enter. Then click on trim, select all. I want to trim this object. Now I have trimmed this object. Go to polar array, then click on this object, then enter. Click on this center point, then enter. Now I have drawn this object, so click on trim, enter, I want to remove this object, enter. Now I have created this object, if you want, you can explore this array, click on this array, go to home and click on explore, now explored this object, inside objects are created. Now we have to draw the outline. So here are diameter 66 circle. So click on circle, go to center diameter. Click on this point and enter the diameter as 66. Enter. Now I have this circle diameter 66. Now I want to draw this arc R16 as a curve so click on fillet go to radius and enter the value as 64 enter click on trim click on no trim first circle second circle then I have to draw here radius 20 click on fillet go to radius Enter the value as 20, enter, go to trim, yes, no trim. Click on this circle and click on this circle. Now I have drawn. Here, I have to draw R10 radius. So go again, fillet and radius, enter the value as 10. Click on this line and click here. Re enter the fillet and go to radius. Enter the value here. I have to draw R20. So type 20, enter. Click on this circle and click on this circle. Now I have drawn these areas. I can mirror it, so click on mirror, then select all these objects, enter, click this point, and enter. Now I have mirrored the, those objects. Here I have to trim some segments, so click on this tool, go to trim and enter. You don't want this part. This part, this part, this segment, and also these two segments. 
then enter. Here I have to trim these areas. Click on trim and enter. Now I have created those objects. Now I can delete those objects. Now almost I I have completed this object. So I have to hatch this area. Go on hatch and go to gradient. Here I want to put green and yellow. Here yellow is over here. I want to change this as green. Then select this or pick this area. And change this type. Now you have created. Then enter. Now I have created same object is here. Now I have to put the center line. So go to annotate and click on center mark. Click on this point. Here, yeah, this is my center mark. And also here, 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 then in there. If you want, you can put it here also. So again, go to center mark, then click on this point and enter. Escape. Now I can change these colors. So select all these. and go to home and properties here yeah, i want to change this color uh, line weight is zero then i want to change this color as blue then deselect those you can extend it click on it here yeah. grip this and you can extend those objects and deselect and here also i can ex extend this object now oh, i'm going to give those dimensions click on annotation panel and go to lining and one is to one is the my scale click ok click this point go to this and the point then click it then repeat this time line here. Click on this center point. Go to this point and click it here. We enter. Click this point. Click this point and click it here. Now I have object. Now I have to give the, this area. Click on linear. Click this point. Click this point. Enter. Repeat it. One two. Three, three point. Now I have inserted all linear dimension. Now I am going to give it the diameter. Click on diameter. Click this. Click on radius and give radius values.
we have converted this object into AutoCAD Pro V. Please subscribe my channel and get new updates of AutoCAD tutorials.